on our last video <coughs> we did HTML and now we're going to style it with CSS so we're going to make this look sweet or at least better looking and we're going to make a CSS file so make a new file and we're going to save this immediately as main.css in our CSS folder so now we gotta link that. We gotta link this CSS file with this index so it knows where it is. So you say link and you give it an href of where it's at. It's in the CSS folder and it's called main.css. And we want a uh, little attribute of style sheet and last one is uh, type text slash CSS and Gets a self closing tag too. Now that it's all linked up, uh, here's how you make a comment. And here's how I like to style my CSS. So here's my body. And I'm going to do a whole bunch of these. This is where we're going to put all of our code. So we have a header. And we have a nav. And we have a content. And we have a footer. Text and links. And we don't need the last one. Awesome. Now, the, for you guys to better understand this, you can stop coding and just watch me. I'm going to delete all this so this header is going to get text of uh, header content is going to get content and footer is going to get a footer so it's going to say that inside of it so that's what I got right now so we're going to get the body We're going to give it a font of 2.5% slash 1.5 line height. And we're going to give it Arial. And if they don't have Arial, we'll do Helvetica. And if they don't have Helvetica, we'll do Sans Serif, any kind of Sans Serif org. And then we're going to target that wrapper. Uh, you target a wrapper as a div ID of wrapper, so IDs get pound sign, and we're gonna give it a background color of black. Um, no, we're not. We're just gonna do CCC, which is a light gray, and we're gonna give it margin zero auto, and that will center it on the web page, and we'll also give it a width. Oh, we'll give it a width of 800. Uh, by default, you'd probably want to give it a width of, well, 800 pixels. Uh, six, 960. Because most browsers are that size. So I resize this to the default. That's what it usually looks like on most windows. Uh, so we'll just do 960 instead. And to target the header, it doesn't have an ID or anything. It's built native in the browser, so it doesn't get a pound sign or anything. It just gets that. Just a header, open curly braces, and we're going to give it a background color of aqua. And we're going to give it a width of 200 pixels and a height of 200 pixels. Uh, yeah, and we want to display bot block because by default it's not, it doesn't show up. So we're going to do the same thing 
for content, but content is a div. So content gets pound sign, pound sign content. And we don't want to give it aqua, let's give it blue. Notice how you can write blue, or you can give it a hex value of whatever you want. But shortcuts just blue. And you don't have to display block on a div, because by default they are displayed block. And for a footer, it just says footer. We're gonna do the same thing, and we're gonna say red. So this is how the basic layout structure of our site. So we have header, content, footer. Uh, Say so we want to float this left, float left. That's now we're going to line them all up side by side. So we'll give them all a float left. So now they're all lining up right beside each other. Uh, say you want this last one not to line up right beside each other. You want the footer to act like a footer. So we'll say clear both. Clear both is how you put this on the next line. It doesn't display in line like that. So with clear both, it puts on the new line. So now you can do something like that. So this float left, float left, and this is clear both. That's kind of how the float lefts and the clear both works. So both of you have a good understanding of that. We're going to delete all of this and bring back our code that we once had. Okay. Uh, we don't want to give our header a width. It already has a default width. We'll give your header a background color of something light. Come on, browser, go faster. There we go. I'll make it more obvious. Um, no, no, no. We'll just do a bunch of grays, make it easy. Okay, so here's our H1. If you're using Firebug, you can expect this element. If you don't have Firebug, I would strongly recommend getting it by Googling Firebug. Uh, by default, our H1 has pat margin on it. See the yellow? Yellow is margin. By default, all browsers do that. And on my UL nav, it has uh, the padding is purple and the margin is yellow there. And we don't want any of that. So we could just say star margin zero padding zero. The star it puts part matching margin and padding zero for every element that we put on this page. So this should change a little bit. Now it has no padding, no margin for everything on this page. Everything's lined up to the left. And that's basically what we want. If you uh Want to Google an HTML5 reset? This resets the CSS for every browser, so it looks right on every browser. I would recommend downloading this. I would download HTML5reset.org. I would download the bare bones version here. Save it to my desktop. Um. Done downloading yet? Okay, it's right here. And the only thing in this bare bones is we want the CSS. So we want this reset CSS in here. And then now we can delete. And we're going to put this reset CSS inside of our CSS. So now we have two CSS's in here, main and reset. So we can get rid of this and we're just going to say 
enter index. We're gonna copy and paste this line. And we're gonna say reset. Actually, you want it reset to be first. You want to recess to be first. You want that to load, and then we want to override it with our main. So it's still going to give us the same outcome. Which is exactly what we want. So on our header, we don't have to display displayed block anymore. It's displayed block by default. And Let's see here. So let's target our H1 that is inside of our header. Uh, this header should probably go inside of the header. It makes sense, huh? And then you put header. To target that H1 that is inside of the header, all you do is put H1. So now we're styling this H1. Uh, we're going to give it a font size of 2 VMs. Uh, that's what this does up here, this font size. So font size 2 EMs is the same as saying font size 20 pixels. It's a conversion between pixels and EMs. EMs are more accurate across all browsers, so we're going to use EMs for text. So the font size of that, we're going to float it left. So now it's float up left against our list of our nav. So now we're going to target our nav. Our nav is right here. It's called nav. It has a bunch of li's inside of it. So we're going to say pound sign nav because it is an id. And we're going to give it a list style type. A list style type of none. And a list style position of inside. And now we'll get rid of these dumb dots. We'll also go inside of the nav, and we'll go inside the LIs. Inside of the nav LIs, if you, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just go back to your code and say nav, and inside the nav we have a bunch of LIs, and a bunch of all the, and, uh, and, uh, a bunch, inside of all the LIs we have an A, an anchor tag. So we're going to display in line uh, for the LIs, and that will line them all up beside each other. And we'll also give them a font size of 2 EMs, which is 20 pixels. So that lines them all up. Uh, we're going to go down here to text and links, and we're going to give every A an anchor. We're going to style it and give it a color. Uh, the color is going to be just uh, AE8, which is the gray. And whenever you hover over it, hover over an anchor, we're going to give it a hover. So you just say a semicolon or a colon there, hover, and we're going to give it a new color of oh, something stupid like aqua when you hover over it, and we'll give it a text decoration of underline. But by default, these have a text decoration of underline anyway, so we don't want a text decoration underline say none on the A's, but when you hover over it, we do want a text decoration, and we do want aqua, 